Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can integrate Cortana with Power BI. It's a pretty useful feature when you're trying to look at data real quick without having to do a lot of logging in and you need instant access to the data. To kind of give you an idea about how powerful this tool is, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a demo right now. So if I click this Cortana button here and you can see I've got a voice button that I can use to do speech recognition. Training summary. And this is I found a report. Training summary. And this is a report that I deployed already in Power BI, and you can see that it's actually fetching the data from Power BI, and it has a lot of the functionality that you expect from Power BI in terms of interacting with the report, etc. Now, in order to do this, I've already downloaded some dummy data, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a report out of it and deploy it into Power BI. The first thing I'm doing is I'm going to say Get Data, choose Excel, and scroll down to the data that I need to load. It's in an Excel sheet. So it's going to go ahead and load that data and uh, once that's done I'll create a, a basic report, something really simple to kind of demonstrate the concept. So I'll choose load and that data is loaded into my Power BI desktop at the moment. And once it's done, I have this page one that you see here and I'm going to go ahead and change the layout of this page so that it renders properly within Cortana. The first thing I want to do for that is come over here to this format button click on it, change the page size to Cortana. And you can see immediately it looks kind of like a mobile page. Basically it's more of a, a portrait kind of thing rather than landscape. And inside this I want to create my report. So I'll just put a bar graph with something like department and maybe a count of IDs to just get an idea about uh, you know uh, the um, uh, the number of people in a particular department so you can see I have like a thousand rows with distributed data and the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and say something like department wise data and that is the name of this report and next thing I want to do is I want to publish this into my Power BI uh, cloud service so I'm just gonna call this sample data and uh, once this Power BI report that I've just created gets published into the cloud, the next thing I want to do is go into the cloud and enable a couple of different features. The first thing I want to do in this case is I want to log into Power BI. So I'm going to go to powerbi.com, or basically powerbi.microsoft.com, and uh, sign in. And after signing in, I need to actually tell Power BI that Cortana has access to this data set. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is on the left hand side I have the navigation bar. So I'm going to choose this and uh, I'm going to go ahead and look for the, uh, the data set that I just deployed. It's called sample data and you can see here that data set is here. The next thing I'm going to do is click settings and under settings I have data set and against that data set I have Q&A and Cortana and uh, I'll just go ahead and choose sample data here and say allow Cortana to access this data set and press apply. The next thing I want to do is add a featured question. So I'm going to add a question here, which will basically be uh, department-wise data, the name that I've given here for this report. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. I'll just say department-wise, I think it was data, and I'll press apply. Once this is done, Power BI knows that it's supposed to allow Cortana to access the data set, but we also need to tell Cortana that it's supposed to be doing this, and that's where the next part of the configuration comes. Uh, what we need to do here is basically just click the Start button here, and in your Windows 10, you'll see that there's the Settings button, and when you click on it, you have something called Accounts. When you click Accounts, you have two options. One is to log in using your regular Microsoft account, if you're using it for personal reasons and you also have access work or school account in which case you also have the uh, the work or school account and you need to connect this by just clicking connect and log in using the account name that you use to deploy your report into Power BI. As an additional layer of security you might be asked to enter some kind of SMS code that uh, kind of authenticates you with multi-factor authentication basically. But once that's done you're all set and uh, if I click here right now in Cortana and then say department wise data not voice data 
that's wrong so let me just go ahead and do that again because again Cordon is not really very great when it comes to speech recognition which is uh, something that I've always found Google to be uh, very reliable on but let's try this again department wise data okay well uh, it takes a couple of minutes for um, Cortana to actually start recognizing the reports in Power BI so uh, we'll just wait a second department wise data I found department wise data and as you can see here we've got the report that we just created and published into Power BI and it's really that simple because uh, once you go ahead and do this essentially what's going to happen is that your customers or yourself could instantly have access to the data that's in uh, Power BI if you want to take it one step further you can also go ahead and load this into a database and have data refresh going on in the background so that you always get real-time uh, statistics and information at your fingertips and that's all there is really to it there's no coding involved it's just a matter of enabling two features the first one being enabling Cortana access to your Power BI account and the second one to actually uh, uh, have Cortana use the account by configuring it within Windows and there you have it I hope you found this video useful and uh, thank you for watching